Hi. Hi. Um, so, welcome to the final night, night 13. It's Halloween! Happy Halloween! Woo! And as you've probably noticed from the title of this video, we watched Halloween! Oh yeah! The original one mm -hmm. from 1978. It was 70s-tastic. It was. <laughs> um... Everything about the movie kind of screams 70s. Mm hmm But what did you think, Casey? It was really good. Yeah? Uh, it, I can see how when it came out, it was totally different and super scary and mm. really cool. And it's nice to go back and watch an older horror movie that inspired the next 30 years of sure. filmmaking. Yeah. I mean, you can see you can see influences from this movie in pretty much everything that came after it. Mm -hmm. um, even like Hush, mm -hmm. that yeah definitely drew at least a little bit from this. You've got the the killer terrorizing a woman in in a house. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Pardon me. Yeah, uh, you mentioned at one point that you liked that it wasn't like the nerdy totally downer character and uh -huh. the stoner character and yeah because it just it's just normal people yeah yeah this was long before all of the tropes inherent to like slasher or horror movies mm -hmm. became a thing and it was nice yeah just like because it's like, I know what's going to happen, but I don't know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And I like these characters. Yeah. Yeah. In, um, I was going to say, the first probably 45 minutes, it's it's kind of slow. Mm -hmm. And there's not really... And it's not even really building all that much tension either. No. There's You're just... You're just getting to know these characters and their motivations mm. and why they're there when everything happens. Pretty much, yeah. It's a lot of setup. Yeah. Um, it's tempting to blame that on Donald Pleasance because <laughs> this was not his finest hour, but no, it's not his fault. Yeah, but there was... Um, but once once things got down to business, it was it was fun. Yeah. Um, Casey was working on her costume, getting that ready for the party that she's about to leave for, like, as soon as we're done recording this, um, during the first half hour, 45 yeah. minutes of the movie. And I actually mentioned that it was probably a good thing that she had something to keep her occupied during that time, because if you're just sitting and watching the movie and paying attention to it, eh, not a whole lot going on. There's not a lot going on. I was on like, what I half. miss? And you're like, nothing. No, not really. Um, and I mean, you were paying attention. Yeah. You know, the, the basic gist of Also, I did not on. make this. I bought this and had to make some <laughs> alterations. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> um, so yeah, basic plot outline. Uh, dude, as, dude kills his... Did he kill his mom? His sister. His sister. The little kid, like, nine, ten-year-old kid, kills his sister on Halloween, gets institutionalized. For some reason, we go to the institution. I think he was actually six. Oh, wow. I think he was six. He's like a really little sister. fucking kid. Yeah. And there's tits. There's a lot of tits in this movie. There's quite a bit of tits in this movie. Um, so he's institutionalized, and... His doctor was going there, and he ended up escaping and stealing the doctor's car and driving back to his hometown. And um, <clears throat> and the doctor knew he was going to go there, too. Yeah, but no one believed him. Like, his doctor, who's been, like, studying this person for the past, thir what did they say, like, 13 years to add some spook factor? I think, I think 15. Maybe, okay. I think it was 15 years. Like, it's been a decade and a half this guy's been working with this kid. And it also doesn't make sense that he says he knows him that well because he hasn't said a word in 15 years. Yeah. Michael Myers doesn't talk. Yeah. So. But, so, but this, like, this doctor's been studying him. So he, like, has a basic understanding of 
his functions and motivations as someone who's like clinically insane yeah and honestly kind of from what he says it kind of boils down to his motivation is that he's just evil yeah he's just straight up evil uh but no one wants evil 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 has left um but no one believes him like the cops are like he's not gonna drive 150 miles to his hometown he's like no he totally is and then he, he totally does and then once he gets to the town though the local cops are a little bit more understanding yeah. because the sheriff doesn't want anyone to die and he's like people are gonna die and the sheriff's like well i should probably take you kind of seriously yeah it's nice that somebody finally decides that eh, it's better to be safe than sorry if people might die yeah. Nobody at the asylum where they had Michael Myers locked up for all those years seemed to even give a little bit of a shit that he had escaped. Yeah. And, um, so he ends up terrorizing this group of teenagers. Jamie Lee Curtis is in this. Mm-hmm. She's our main character. And, um, And so... she is the, the bookworm nerd yeah. girl. Yeah, but she still smokes pot, so I was like, yeah. I can get down with this Jamie Lee Curtis. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, and like we said before, it's not like there's the stoner character and the slut and the nerdy kid. It's, they're, they're kids. They're high school kids. Yeah. So they're just, they just want to smoke pot and fuck around and... Knit. (coughs) And knit. Jamie Lee Curtis. Seriously, I relate so much to Jamie Lee Curtis's character. I was like, I just want to stay home and knit. Yeah. Make a little bit of cash watching the neighborhood kids. <laughs> <laughs> um but she's got some like really shitty friends. Like she's a she's she's babysitting and she has a really good relationship with the kid that she watches. Her friends are kind of assholes. And her other two girlfriends, they are just interested in fucking off and getting laid. Yeah. So basically one of them even levels the criticism. I think it might have been Jamie Lee Curtis. She's mm-hmm. like, you only babysit so that you have a place to fuck your boyfriend. Yeah. She doesn't say it just like that, but... Yeah. Um, but it was also it was also interesting how every everything just happens in this little neighborhood that's supposed to be in Illinois. And it's clearly... Like it's clearly California. California. Uh, because it's supposed to be Halloween and everything's green and it's and like everyone's windows are open. Like yeah, they... it's clearly warm, it's sunny until pretty late in the day. Yeah. <laughs> like that's not Illinois. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, and there's like trees and bushes and stuff mm-hmm. that, that you look at it and you're like, that doesn't look like something that would grow in Illinois. No. <laughs> There's, there's like three things that can grow in Illinois, and one of them's yeah. corn. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so, and so the, the first, the first big chunk of the movie is just seeing these teenagers going about their day, trying to plan out their Halloween night, and they're just. They're, the two of the girls are stuck babysitting, so they're just like, mm. whatever, our other friend will come over, we'll have our boyfriends over, and we'll just fuck around. Mm-hmm. Um, and they they talk about the homecoming dance that's coming up, and the one girl call Jamie Lee Curtis's character, which is, shit, what's, what's her character's name? Lori. Lori? Yeah. Okay, it's Lori. Um... Laurie, not Lori, Laurie. Laurie. I, I kind of pronounce those names similarly. Yeah. She she tells her friend who her crush is, so her friend calls her crush and is like, hey, someone wants to go to the dance with you. And he's into it, and she gets mad. Yeah. And it's like he's you, like, why would you call the person that I like and get him to agree to go out with me? And her friend's like, you two obviously like each other. Why are you freaking out about this? You're just being embarrassed. Get over it. But then after they have that conversation later on, that girl goes over to the house where Jamie Lee Curtis's character is babysitting mm-hmm. and she's like, and Jamie Lee Curtis is like, you need to call him and tell him that you were kidding. Mm-hmm. You are in high school. You're not a fifth grader at this point. Yeah. You can like. If you I really don't, don't want to go to the dance with him, just tell him. Yeah, and she does because she says, I'd rather go with this guy. 
Mm -hmm. Like, she was like, I want to go to the dance with this guy. It's a little bit weird. But, I mean, that's just who she is, I guess. She's the, the, the mildly socially awkward kid. Um... So, so, so anyway, though, she ends up with both the kids mm-hmm. and the other girl goes to pick up her boyfriend, but, uh, well, she goes to go pick up her she boyfriend. Go, yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> she, doesn't she, really... she gets in the car and gets a little, uh, choked out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Michael Myers sort of kind of kills her as soon as she gets in the car. Yeah. Which, Oops. and that was really cool though, because he's hiding in the back seat and you know he's in the back seat, but he just pops right the fuck up. Uh huh. And I was just like, oh! <laughs> I didn't really notice it, because I've seen this movie probably like a dozen times, mm-hmm. but I never really picked up on it before. When she is going to get in the car the first time, the door's locked. Mm-hmm. And so she's like, oh, I need the keys, duh. Which she was going to need to drive it anyway. Yeah. But she goes and gets the keys and comes back out and just opens the door. Mm-hmm. And she doesn't think anything of it. Yeah. Weird. Weird. Yeah. Um, so she dies right away, and then Michael Myers stashes her body in the house, Mm -hmm. and then her friends show up, it's her friend and her boyfriend, and so, and they're, they're just, like, super horny, so they just immediately walk in the house and start making out, and then, and then they're like, oh, shit, where's the other chick that's supposed to be here? So they call over across the street, and she's like, she was gonna go pick her up her boyfriend, they must have stopped off somewhere. No. And she's like, well, let me know when she gets back. So then they're like, well, and she's like, yeah, I have the little girl. Which also, the the boyfriend joked about ripping the clothes off of the little girl. Yep, that's another thing I never picked up on the other times I watched it. Because I don't really know the characters' names. Ow. Oh. Except for um, Linda. Yeah. Because <laughs> the whole time you're kind of just like, shut up, Linda. <laughs> um, so Linda and her boyfriend Bob and Annie and Paul... And Lori and Lindsay and what's the little boy's name? Tim. Will will he, it might be? It might be. Um, generic white Tommy? suburban. Was it Tommy? Yeah, I think it was Tommy. Um, yeah, I mean the characters' names aren't that important in this movie. I don't no. remember Donald Pleasance's character's name or the name of the sheriff. How can you forget his name? What was his name? Loomis. Loomis. It's you no, just Loomis. like you're like that's how you get the nickname Loopy Loomis. Oh. Yeah, he was tormented as a child. Oh, clearly. I mean, <laughs> I honestly think that Donald Pleasance was tormented as a child. And he didn't even have well, his last name was um, Pleasance. Oh, so so eventually so uh eventually so Annie or um Linda. Linda and her boyfriend Bob are mm. fucking. And so then they finish up after 10 seconds. It's, <laughs> it's like 10 seconds. It doesn't cut away or anything. No. Like he gets on top of her under the sheets. And he's he's writhing around a little bit for like 10 seconds. And then just heaves himself off of her. And she's <laughs> like, that was fantastic. Um. So he goes downstairs to get a beer get beers for them and he gets stabbed to the wall yep. um and so then <laughs> michael myers puts on a fucking sheet and the dude's glasses to make it look like it's him fucking around and goes upstairs so the girl's like trying to talk to him and be like stop messing around where's my beer and then and then she gets choked out with the phone when she tries to call for help which they had disconnected it so Oh, yeah, the phone was off the hook downstairs. No, in the bedroom where she tried to call from because the phone kept ringing, so oh. her boyfriend pl- unplugged yeah. it. Yeah, and she went to a different phone. Did she go to a different phone? Yeah, I don't think he unplugged it. I think he just took it off the hook. Oh, okay. But, like, she would have had to hang that phone back up Damn. to call. Weird. Hmm. Weird. <laughs> Some continuity gaffs going on. Um. So she calls across the street to Lori and she's and she's just moaning because she's getting choked out so she's like oh you're just fucking around with me it's not funny I know you're getting laid and and then and then the, it goes silent so then yeah. Lori's like oh something might be going on over there mm. so she 
the kids are. She asleep. still thinks that they're fucking with her. Yeah, because they think that they're just because it's Halloween. Right. They, she has shitty friends. Yeah. So she's she goes across the street. And fucking goes upstairs and finds. She finds all three. Of she their finds bodies. well. She finds it. Annie's laid out on the bed. Uh huh. With... Underneath Michael Myers' sister's tombstone. Yeah. Which we find out earlier in the movie that he stole from the graveyard. Yeah. So the tombstone's just on the bed, and she's laying there dead. And so she's like, oh, she's, like, freaking out. And then <laughs> the door, like, the closet door opens, and the fucking boyfriend, Bob, is, like, <sighs> hanging upside down and just swings out. And then she's, like, another closet opens, and <laughs> Linda's, in, Linda's there. in there. And she just has, she just has the ditziest expression on her face. <laughs> she just she's just like... like um, <laughs> Oh, and they speak like Valley Girls the they whole time. They do. <laughs> this is supposed to take place in 1970s Illinois. People don't say, like, totally all the time. They say totally, like, a bajillion times in this movie. Mm-hmm. The word of the day is totally. Ah. Um, I don't think that Valley speak had spread that far east Mm-mm. by... I think this was supposed to take place in the mid-70s. Like 75. Something like that. Yeah. 75, 76. Mm-hmm. Something like that. No. It no. Hadn't. So, yeah, there's a lot of, like, telling little gaffes. But this movie was an independent film. It was oh. not made by any studio. Oh. John Carpenter was like, let's do this thing. And it was made on a budget of about 300 thousand dollars wow that's super fucking impressive yes because it's really well done yeah now that is adjusted for inflation that's like a million but still a million is like nothing when you're making a movie and they had they were using 35 millimeter film Hmm. and they would have had to get that all developed and then editing would, would cost more than it would today today you could make a movie that looks better than this on a million bucks probably yeah. If you didn't have to worry about permits and paying actors and stuff. <laughs> like, maybe. Maybe. But we watched a couple movies that cost six or seven million mm-hmm. and were not as good They were as not this. as good. Now, guess how much this movie brought in at the box office after costing 300000 to make? Mm, $10 million? No. Seventy million dollars. Wow! It was one of the most profitable films of like all time. That's crazy. Yeah. Yep. And this kind of kicked off the whole horror slasher mainstream Mm -hmm. genre, which is another reason why we watched it. Mm -hmm. Um, But yeah, yeah, mostly because I had never seen it. Mostly, yeah. It's one of those movies that you kind of got to see at some point. Yeah. It's not the end-all be-all of horror films. It's really good, especially when you take it in its context. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Which I tried to do. Yeah. Yeah. Overall, really good. And it's been one hell of a ride, guys. It has. Thanks we, for sticking it out with us. We really appreciate everybody who, who's watched and given us any feedback on it. Um... I'm going to be kind of glad to not have to worry about doing these every day. Yeah. It got a little stressful at times. Yeah. Um, we were late posting them like half the time. Mm-hmm. But we got them done. Yep. They got done. Next up, 12 Days of Christmas. Mm. Let's do like five. <laughs> I don't even like Christmas movies that much. I'm not watching all oh, of them. Oh, you're lame. Think of 12 Christmas movies we could watch. I could think of 12. We'll see. It's going to happen. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. We'll see thanks. you next time. Yay. Is my wave? Yeah, my wave <laughs> would have been on camera. <laughs> <laughs>